Good morning. Um, today we are welcoming an expert on Cesar Chavez with us, uh, Lance Mayhew. Um, thank you for coming today. Um, well, um, can you tell me uh, where Cesar Chavez is from and what his childhood was like? Cesar Chavez was born in Yuma, Arizona in 1927. Um, his family had a small farm and a small country store. Years of drought and the Great Depression forced him to move to California when he was 10 years old. Um, they lost the farm and the store. Um, he ended up quitting school at eighth grade, which at that time, that's all you had to go through. And at that time, he had been in 38 different schools. Oh my, wow. Um, well, considering that life, uh, what were his most notable accomplishments? Um, he was had um, established the first successful farm workers union, um, the United Farm Workers Union. Um, in American history. This has been attempted by many others, but they had failed. Um, throughout the movement, he tried to get rights for farm workers, um, toilets in the field, the hand washing stations, um, safety from pesticides, things like that, and also rights of women. Wow, okay. And during this journey of life, what challenges did he face? Um, the greatest challenge was in 1972 when the lettuce and grape contracts expired. Um, there were many protests and the growers hired powerful Teamsters unions. Um, thousands of people got hurt and actually two people died um, this time in a drive-by shooting. Um, it was a terrible thing at the time. It is, it is. So after all this, what would you say is his legacy? Um, Caesar believed in equality for all people. Um, whether you were a lawyer or a farm worker, he believed that each person's job was just as important as the other. He thought if you put your mind to it, you could do it. Um, he made all people and workers feel like what they were doing was important. Um, so a common man with an uncommon vision. Cesar Chavez really gave hope to all people. All right. Well, is there anything about him that you think would surprise us? Well, there is actually. In 1962, President John Kennedy offered Caesar to be to lead the Peace Corps at a part in uh, Latin America. He would have had a mansion, um, many servants, um, everything he could have wanted, and big salary, of course. Caesar was a man of the people and uh, a farm laborer and at heart. Uh, he turned down the job and really lived in poverty much of his life until he died. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today, Lance, and thank you for tuning in.